This video will demonstrate how to perform a total serum iron assay and total iron binding capacity, or TIBC assay, using an alumina oxide column and a ferrazine-based colorimetric assay. These assays will use a patient sample, QC sample, iron standard, iron color reagent, iron buffer reagent, and iron saturating reagent. The first step is to label the tubes for the TIBC assay for each patient sample. One tube will be labeled with the specimen ID and TIBC saturating, and a second tube will be labeled with the specimen ID and TIBC eluate. The TIBC eluate tube will be used to collect the TIBC sample after the excess unbound iron has been removed by the TIBC column. Now we will saturate the patient sample with iron saturating reagent by adding 500 microliters of the patient sample to the TIBC saturating tube and one milliliter of well-mixed iron saturating reagent to the same tube using a P1000 micropipette. The iron saturating reagent saturates any empty binding sites on transferrin with iron in the patient sample. At the end of this process, we have made a 1 in 3 dilution of the patient sample with the iron saturating reagent, and we must correct for the dilution at the end of the assay. The next step is to seal and vortex the TIB saturating tube for the patient samples to ensure a homogeneous mixture. This mixture will incubate for 5 minutes to allow the iron in the saturating reagent to bind the transferrin in the patient sample. While the iron is saturating the transferrin in the patient sample, we can make a TIBC column to separate the unbound iron from the mixture once it has finished incubating. Take a syringe and remove the plunger and place the syringe in the TIBC column holder. Use tweezers to add a disc of filter paper to the bottom of the syringe to keep the alumina oxide powder in the syringe. If the filter paper doesn't go all the way to the bottom, use a wooden applicator stick to push the disc flat against the bottom of the syringe. To seal the filter to the bottom of the syringe, use a transfer pipette to add one to two drops of distilled water to the syringe. If you don't use water to seal the filter paper to the syringe, the alumina oxide may leak from the syringe when you add it. Before adding the alumina oxide powder to the syringe, place a paper towel on the lab bench to keep the area clean. Grab the alumina oxide powder and scoop. The scoop is designed to deliver the correct mass of alumina oxide powder for one TIBC column. Place the funnel in the syringe. Measure one full scoop of alumina oxide and use the scraper to remove any excess powder. Pour the alumina oxide powder into the funnel. Remove the funnel and gently tap the column to make the alumina oxide powder level inside the column. Remove the extra tube and replace it with the TIBC eluate tube for the patient sample. The TIBC eluate will drain by gravity from the column and into the tube below. After the five minute incubation is complete, vortex the TIBC saturating tube and use a transfer pipette to transfer the contents of the tube to the column. The mixture will drain by gravity into the TIBC eluate tube below within 15 minutes and remove any unbound iron. While the iron saturated patient sample is eluting, test the reagent blank iron standard, and QC sample in the iron assay. Label tubes for the iron assay as iron blank, iron standard, iron QC, and a tube for each patient sample for iron and TIBC. Use a serological pipette to transfer two and a half milliliters of iron buffer reagent to each tube. The iron buffer reagent does not have ferrazine, so there should not be a color change when it is mixed with iron containing samples. We will measure the initial absorbance of this tube once the specimens have been added to determine the color from the iron buffer reagent and the color from the specimen. This acts as a reagent blank and specimen blank. Use the P1000 micropipette to transfer 500 microliters of sample to each tube. Only the blank, standard, and QC sample will be tested at this time to ensure the assay is working before testing the patient samples. The iron blank will receive distilled water. The iron standard will receive the 500 microgram per deciliter iron standard. The iron QC will receive the QC sample. 
Then seal each tube with parafilm and vortex them to ensure the solution is homogeneous. Set the spectra photometer to 560 nanometers and blank the spectrophotometer with a cuvette of distilled water. Measure the absorbance of the iron blank, iron standard, and iron QC sample and record the absorbances in the table as the blank absorbance. These tubes correct for the color of the sample and buffer reagent. Return the contents of the cuvette back to the original tube for the next step in the assay. Now that the blank absorbance for each tube has been measured, add 50 microliters of the iron color reagent to the iron blank, iron standard, and iron QC tubes. Add the volume directly into the liquid in each tube and pipette up and down a few times to mix. Change tips between each tube. The iron color reagent contains ferrazine, which will react with the iron in the samples and turn the solution pink. Seal each tube with parafilm and vortex them to ensure the solution is homogeneous. Incubate the tubes for 10 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius in the dry bath. After the 10 minute incubation, vortex the samples and measure the absorbance of the iron blank, iron standard, and iron QC samples at 560 nanometers on the spectrophotometer and record the absorbances in the table as the iron absorbance. Return the contents of the cuvette back to the original tube in case you need to remeasure any values. Calculate the corrected absorbance for each sample by subtracting the blank absorbance from each iron absorbance value and then subtract the corrected absorbance of the iron reagent blank tube from the iron standard and the iron QC samples. Use the corrected iron standard absorbance and the corrected absorbance of the QC to calculate the iron concentration of the QC. Once the QC is acceptable, proceed to testing the patient samples for their serum iron and TIBC concentrations. The iron buffer reagent was previously aliquoted to the labeled patient tubes for iron and TIBC. To measure the serum iron, pipette 500 microliters of neat patient serum to the tube labeled with the patient ID and iron. Cap the column, then remove the TIBC eluate tube from under the column. This eluate will be used to prepare the TIBC tube. Mix the TIBC eluate and pipette 500 microliters of the TIBC eluate to the tube labeled with the patient ID and TIBC. The eluate contains the transferrin from the patient sample that is now fully saturated with iron. Seal the tubes with parafilm and vortex them. Blank the spectrophotometer with distilled water at 560 nanometers and then measure and record the blank absorbance of each tube. Ensure that you are recording the iron and TIBC absorbance in the correct table for each sample. Return the contents of the cuvette back to the original tube for the next step in the assay. Now that the blank absorbance for each tube has been measured, Add 50 microliters of the iron color reagent to the iron and TIBC tube for each patient. Add the volume directly into the liquid in each tube and pipette up and down a few times to mix. Change tips between each tube. Seal each tube with parafilm and vortex them to ensure the solution is homogeneous. Incubate the tubes for 10 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius in the dry bath. After the 10 minute incubation, vortex the samples and measure their absorbance at 560 nanometers on the spectrophotometer. Record the absorbance in the table as the iron absorbance or TIBC absorbance. Ensure that you are recording the iron and TIBC absorbance in the correct table for each sample. 
Return the contents of the cuvette back to the original tube in case you need to remeasure any values. Once all the absorbance values have been measured, follow the standard operating procedure to calculate the iron and TIBC concentration for the patient samples. Ensure that you correct the calculated TIBC concentration for the dilution of the sample with the iron saturating reagent.